I've been using this matte screen protector on my iPhone 15 Pro Max for the last 10 days and I wanted to share my experience with it and if I think it's worth getting one. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. I'm actually not a fan of screen protectors. I just prefer the iPhone when it comes out of the box as is and having Apple Care protects my phone from any serious damages. But after only a few months of having the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I'm already starting to see some minor scratches on the screen. And every time I see the first scratch, I whine and think to myself, why didn't I just use a screen protector? And it had been a while since I used one. And I wanted to give one a try for a few days to feel out the experience. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. It's good to see you again. First off, putting on the screen protector is pretty simple. All you have to do is align the screen protector with the iPhone screen and applying it is pretty easy. If you start to see any bubbles, you might have to press hard on this screen protector or slightly lift it up to make sure that all the bubbles go away. Other than that, a simple enough experience. And now that it's on, how does it feel? And honestly, it's very thin and feels very smooth to the touch. If I'm trying to swipe on my iPhone, it's not really noticeable. I definitely prefer not having a screen protector on, but it's not terrible. This screen protector in particular is made by a company called TAC. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I've used their products before and I really like this screen protector. If you're looking to this one as a recommendation, there's some things I really like about it and some things that I don't. When you buy the screen protector, you get two screen protectors. It's very thin at 0.3 millimeters. It has 9H hardness tempered glass and full screen coverage. There are a few things that I really like about this screen protector. First being, no bubbles. It's also very sticky, so it doesn't feel like it's going to peel off anytime soon, and I really like the matte finish that's on it. A few things I don't like, and I think this is hit or miss, is you can kind of see where on the dynamic island, the matte finish is a little bit off, and it's on the expensive side starting at $29. I know you get two, but if you just look on Amazon, you'll find screen protectors where you also get more than one for less than $10. And in this case, if you end up not liking it, you only spent 10 bucks instead of 30. So just keep that in mind. Now, is this screen protector actually going to protect your iPhone? And a simple answer is yes. It's definitely going to protect your iPhone from scratches. Now, I don't do any drop tests, so that's a little bit more tricky but I did test it with scratching up the screen protector. So I took a key to it and just started scratching the heck out of it. And at first I thought I had ruined the screen protector because it looked like a lot of the key material had kind of gone onto the screen protector, but I just wiped it off and it looked brand new. So in terms of scratch durability, I think it's pretty good. Now, how do I like the matte finish? And I actually really like it. It gives the phone a whole different kind of aesthetic especially with this iOS setup that I currently have on my home and lock screen, it just looks super clean. Also, when you're in peak sunlight, you can see your phone much more clearly because of the matte finish. It actually doesn't glare up my screen at all. So for the most part, I really like this screen protector and especially the fact that it's a matte finish, it's really nice. But am I going to keep it on long-term? And my answer is yes and no. Maybe I'll have it on for a month or two just to keep testing it out. And if anything else comes up, I'll let you guys know. If you really need that added protection, there's only benefits to having a screen protector on and they're all pretty cheap. I will link tax screen protector into the video's description. I'm pretty pleased with the experience and I'm definitely going to keep it on for the near term future. If you use a screen protector, let us know which one you're using and your experience with it. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my case reviews for anyone that's looking for a case along with their screen protector. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. God bless. And I will see you on the next video.